This podcast is brought to you by Raycon earbuds, my friends, my lovely genius brain listeners. We are officially in a dupe session and Raycon wireless earbuds are some dupes that are amazing that you should definitely not sleep on because we want some premium quality stuff without having to pay the premium price. Raycon earbuds, my friends, have three customizable sound profiles, earbud tab functions, noise isolation, and so much more. If you want to cop a pair, go to buyraycon.com slash brain today to get 50% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash brain to score 15% off. That's buyraycon.com slash brain. My lovely genius farts, you sexy shang the most sexy. It has finally dropped. One week left to cop the pre-orders for the anime-inspired Genius Brain Secret Society collab piece. If you're just finding out about this right now, you got seven more days. Oversized fit, 100% cotton jersey tee with puff print details on the front and the back. So many people make cheap anime-inspired shirts and they shrink funny, look weird. They have an odd fit and they just don't care, but not us. This is my ode to something that I loved as a kid and I still love as an adult. And people are just catching on to this anime wave. But guess what, my friends? You don't have to wear crappy anime tees don't miss out seven more days to cop this piece and it's first come first serve uh for shipping so get on it it's going to be at secretsociety.com that's www.secretsociety.com seven more days for the pre-orders cop it first come first serve once again love you bye yesterday we were talking and then she said that i i she thinks but the next session we're going to talk about some more but she thinks that i have autistic tendencies <laughs> like the one thing is called um restricted hey, hey. hey uh my name is jason and i'm here and i want to talk about my feelings in five four three two one what's up everybody welcome to another episode of the genius brain podcast we have this Hold on a second. First of all, I, I just want to put this out there. I have not been sharing this on my feed, but I don't understand why the algorithm keeps showing me kids with Down syndrome. It's because you watch it every time. No, I no. You watch it every day. I, people, people, some people send this to me and they tell me to laugh and I don't laugh. Dude, I go, you send it to yourself. Okay. Nobody is sending it to you, David. Stop have, lying to your people. I have an archive where I saved about 30 of them. <laughs> you send it to yourself. Listen, there's this video that I... I always feel weird about sharing with people because I don't want to be judged. Okay? Yeah. But they are also in the joke and they they I think they made this video. It's this yeah. one video called Chromosome Man. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's this kid who has Down syndrome that yeah. he's going to save people. He's in a Superman suit. He's in a Superman suit, yeah. but he keeps fucking things up because he has Down syndrome and he yeah. presses a button and he explodes and he kills people. Yeah. I didn't make that video. Yeah. So I it's okay if I laugh. Yeah, he, Jay, made, Jason he made, made it. Video. <laughs> Jason what? made the video. It's me. Yes. <laughs> it's Jason in the suit. Listen, you, the only reason, okay, let me just put this out here, right? I just want, <laughs> this This uh, episode is just me confronting my abuser. Why are you digging into my Second garbage can, dude? <laughs> Why are you digging into my fucking garbage okay, can? Here's the thing. Explain it. No, okay, no here's the thing. I, so, <laughs> fucking digging into my garbage can. It was really uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> It was really uncomfortable though when you saw it because last time I had some garbage, okay? Yeah. And then, so I opened your garbage can. Yeah. It was this before or after when I came over? It was before. So this fool, the last, before. Time, the last time this fool was on my podcast, right? Most people, when they come here, this is what happens. They text me, they go, where do I go? They go from their car straight to the studio. I'm wondering where this guy's at. He says he's here. I don't see him. So I walk outside and I see this, this man Digging into my garbage can, and I'm like, that okay. can't be, that can't be Jason. First of all, he's a, he's a normal person. How, how come every time I come here, you're outside already? <laughs> how do you know I'm just there already? Because I could smell you, you stinky piece of shit. Dude, That's I showered, right. man. I took a shower. Why were you digging into my garbage can? Okay, it's because I had a trash. Okay, uh huh. And then I didn't want to startle you because I didn't get into your house yet. So I was like, I don't want to like alarm him. So, so you decided trash, to, and then I put the trash deep into the garbage can because I didn't want to drop thing. it loud and go clang 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 clang, and then you come out and you're oh, like, my, my Why trash can't throwing... turn into Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Is that what's happening? Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to make a noise. <laughs> <laughs> don't hit the bathroom. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> <laughs> I just see this guy half his body is into my garbage can. I'm inside the garbage can. I, this is what I thought you were doing. I yeah. thought that you were gonna you were trying to hide in there to scare me. 
what? Like you were going to go into the garbage can and text me <laughs> and be like, hey, dude, go take out I'm, your trash. And I'm like, why? Just and I just pop out. Hello. T- and then you're just there for an hour because I'm not going outside. <laughs> dude, no. You're a piece of shit. Oh, I, and that's the only reason why I brought you on here today, just to let you know you're a fucking piece of shit. All right. I, I just wanted to be a good citizen and not um, startle you. Is all. So Jason. And OK, you know what? This is another thing. I want to say this. <laughs> I try to throw, so I, I, I ate a, a date just now. Date is good for your intestines and stuff. There's a seed. I try to th- find a trash can in your second house, the house that's next to your house, right? And then there's a trash can. I open it. There's no garbage bag. And what did I but say? But there's trash inside the garbage. I told you I'll figure it out. <laughs> And there's trash inside a garbage. And you said to throw it in just the empty garbage. But there's only five pieces of trash. There's like a wiped toilet paper and like an apple applesauce thing. I have never been assaulted for caring about the earth. I don't what? use plastics. Okay. Oh, did, did you really? I just, just used the plastic bin and I just throw it into the garbage out there because I care about the earth. But apparently that's just me. Really? No, you idiot. <laughs> I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm Dude, fucking lazy. That, that was a very good. <laughs> yeah. That got me. Okay. I felt I'm really lazy bad. as shit. And every time I look at that garbage can, I realize that I have to un- I have to open a bag and I yeah. have to do that stupid thing. Yeah. And then when you put it in, there's too much air. Yeah. And then you have to pre- I don't want to do that. But that was you said to just put it in there. Yeah, and then we'll figure it out. Yeah. I always figure it out. Yeah. And then it's, it's the exact opposite because there are recyclable plastics in there and I just throw it in the garbage can. It's a terrible thing. This man. You know, if you guys remember the last time we were on this podcast, I explicitly told this dude. What's the problem? That if he wants to shoot a special, right, on his own, I am somebody who has been in video. I have done editing. I have yeah. shot. I have done everything from the beginning to the back end, right? Shooting a special on a small scale is easy work for me. Yeah. Very easy work. And what the fuck did I tell you? Okay, I'm going to tell you something. No, right? and you shut the fuck <laughs> okay. up. What the fuck did I tell you to do before you shoot it? I know. Oh, but I didn't even shoot it. I just got a camera and then, I could tell. Yeah. You shot that shit literally on a potato. It was a good potato. <laughs> it was a good potato. Okay, here's the thing. It's because there's a couple of things. One, I just because you already like I just don't want to because you 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 like offered to do it and I don't want it because I know you're busy and also I really just don't want to um take advantage because you already support me in a lot Nobody of ways takes advantage of me all Where right i offered it to you i know because i knew you were going to shoot some garbage like that Yeah, i know <laughs> i was so mad first yeah. of all you sh- did, why did you tell the person with the camera you set up why did you I, set, I set up, it up why what did you, you set it up six well, miles tell away the person what <laughs> what, what, what? Tell, who, tell myself <laughs> yes. hey jason <laughs> Can you set a call to everybody? <laughs> just yelling at yourself? Hey, you idiot. Why did you fucking set it up so far? What? I just put it at a place and I'm like, oh, this looks good. Jason. What do you mean so far away? It, I zoomed in. It, it looked like somebody was fucking, they were going to sell your shit on a DVD later. <laughs> Are you going to scalp your own fucking special out in the streets in Hollywood? Hey, what man. kind of shitty? Let me tell you something. That was grassroots. <laughs> I go grassroots. That wasn't grassroots. That was cemetery, dude. That was deep in the earth. (laughs) That was straight up in the core of the earth. Why the fuck? I was, but I I was like, okay, Jason did this special. He he probably has at least like I don't know three angles. It's one angle. (laughs) It's it's one angle on an iPhone (laughs) two. He had, he had to buy one off of eBay just so he could shoot this fucking video. Yeah. I was so mad. And then he yeah. recorded it through his fucking voice record app uh, on his I phone. did. I actually did. Oh my and god. I put it together with the with the with the cell phone, honestly. But I just wanted to do it because um I really want people to come out and see my stand up live. And you know what the difference is? I could have shot that for you and it would have taken literally no time out of my day. No, but it would is the thing. You got to no, like wouldn't. do me, it and you got to I would have like, got me, my two camera dudes. We would have yeah. set it up. We would have mic'd you up. I'm not saying I would have edited it. Yeah. I would have at least given you the footage so you could give it to an editor. Yeah. And it literally takes nothing out of me because yeah, I've done it so many times. Places. It's one place. I mean? And you got to like do the thing and I'm going to feel bad because it's like, you you're spending your time, you know what I mean, and your energy, and I just, I just feel bad. You're so Asian. I hate you. You're so because you already do. Uh, you, you already support me. Is the thing. I don't give a fuck. I yeah. told you. 
I listen. We could still do it, but I just I'm not. Gonna, I don't want you to like even saying that. We could still do it. It make it makes me feel bad, honestly. Why? Why? I told you I'll do it. I want to do it. It's Why do you want to do it? Because I know how shitty you're gonna do it if I, I don't know. do it. <laughs> But then the thing is, if you do it, I feel like I owe you so much. Is the you thing owe, I already feel you like you don't owe me shit. Yeah, but the Asians out there, they know. They they feel like you oh know somebody God. do a nice thing. You are so fucking it. Asian. You know what I'm talking about. You will feel the same way if somebody do something for you. No, and I don't ask for help time. because I can do everything. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I did it myself. No, no, no. That's why I did it but myself. Here's the thing. You can't do everything. <laughs> I did it. You did. <laughs> I, you, no, 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 no. That, that was not doing I it. I want to take it down. When I turned that shit on, I was like, oh, yeah. this is a stab special from 2001. <laughs> I assumed. It didn't look good. I was like, wow, you you haven't aged at all. <laughs> I was like, that's pretty good. Well, when I uploaded, I was like, ah, it's fine. I just want people to come see. And I literally, when I uploaded, I was like, I'm going to take it down in like a month. Dude, the comments literally on your fucking YouTube video was like, yeah. he deserves better. <laughs> He's so funny. He deserves better. Who would do this to him? It's like, it's me. <laughs> I didn't Who would do this to him? Fire the videographer. You're like, I can't. It was me. I I'm him. I can't fire myself. <laughs> Bro. Oh, I was so upset when I saw that shit. I was like. That's really nice. Man. Even if I didn't I set up multiple angles, I could have set up one camera and it still would have looked <laughs> way better than that. I could have oh. done one camera and just lobbed you up and yeah. it would have been 10 times better. Yeah. And it would have, I could have set it up and I could have walked away and fucking had lunch and came back <laughs> and it would have been fine. Yeah. That's why yeah. I was shocked. I'm not a professional at the uh, videographer space. The next one you do, yeah, I'm going to shoot it. Okay. What, well, I'm going to, yeah. Okay. That's it's really easy nice. shit. You just got to give me the date and the time. Yeah. I call my crew up yeah. and then we shoot it. I'll give you the footage and then I'll help you find an editor. That's it. I'll buy lunch. There you go. That's it. You just buy, buy me. But I already feel bad in my heart, but thank you. I, I'm, I'm going to, I'll, I'll, I'll run it by you next Because the reason why I'm telling you I can do yeah. this is because what's hard for you is uh. easy for me. Okay. It's, it's, it's so fucking easy. It's unreal how easy it oh, is. Oh, you know what? This is really good to know. And now I feel better. And I think I'm going to now. Because like, that's the thing. Like well, people, some, for some people too, like sometimes people feel really bad asking because for me, it will be really hard. And like, for me, it will be like really agitating to film somebody's thing. Uh, and it would be really difficult for me to do, but it's a little bit easier for you. I know you also trying to be polite and nice, but but yeah, but that makes me feel a little bit better it's, to ask it's, you it's to do so it. It's so easy for me, right? Mm. So when I see, because I know, because you're like a traditional, traditional comic, right? Yeah. Traditional comics can't do anything but make jokes and make people laugh, which is the greatest thing ever, right? For me, I was started in video and then I transitioned the other way around, right? So recording things, setting things up, right? Getting all this other shit. It's my, it's my shit. Like, okay. it's not hard. Like, honestly, if I said, fuck all this other stuff, I could apply to a job somewhere and literally doing video work and I'll get that job. Wow. Like, that's how good I am at my shit. Yeah. Like even this podcast, right? When I, every podcast that you've seen that other people have done usually doesn't look that great because I'm not the one editing it. But every mm. podcast that I've edited, like for example, like the recent ones, everybody's had seen, and I've read comments like, oh, who's doing your stuff? I went back to editing my own shit mm. because nobody mm. cares about the stuff uh, as much as I do when it comes to my work, right? Yeah. And a lot of it's about style and taste. Yeah. So for you, if you're ready to do redo your special and you want to yeah. take that garbage down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I was going to. I, I really, I just wanted some people to see it and they go, oh, I want to go see him. Because also too, like one of the things that you, you didn't do or maybe the thing you don't realize is yeah. that, you know, obviously when people shoot their special, whether it goes on YouTube or not, yeah. we're going to set it up probably in the same location and you're going to do three or four nights in a row and then we're going to yeah. chop it up. Okay. Right? Because yeah. your delivery will be different on certain days. Sometimes yeah. you'll, you'll, you'll riff off the crowd differently and we want to keep those pieces in. Yeah. So we have to record it three or four times over. Okay. And then we just need you to wear the same clothes three days in a row. Yeah. And then we chop it up and get the best bits. Nothing on Netflix, none of that special is done in one night. Yeah. Oh yeah. The, I know. Yeah. One, it's like, it's like five or shows. no, it's like four or five nights. It's, <clears throat> it's a lot. Yeah. And they just wear the same shit and they just chop it up. Yeah. They get some of the dead air out and that's why they have multiple angles. When you shoot one thing, it's because when we're shooting these things, right, we're trying to make people feel like how it feels like in the crowd. Yeah. Because when you watch stand up on screen, you don't get to feel the energy. You don't get to feel the energy. That's where the editing and how it's shot it comes in. Yeah. Right? Because everybody in the crowd is laughing, but when you watch it from a distance, you have to kind of try to imagine yourself there. Yeah. When you shoot it well, you don't have to do that. 
Mm. right? We, we get the audio from the crowd. We bump up the laughs a little bit. We make it sound really good just as it was. Not, it's not a lie. It's just making yeah. it sound how it is if you were there. Yeah, if you were there. That, that's that's very well uh, explained. Like there's one angle that I didn't really see until Shane Gillis' is special. It's like an angle like in the actually in the crowd. Like they will have like over the shoulder of a person of an audience member seeing Shane. And I love that because it really makes you feel like you're the you're not it's it's impossible to replicate that feeling watching something live but when i saw that i was like oh man i would love that angle i might think but you know 100 percent, and we need like the the crowd reaction all that other stuff right we need to yeah. see when you when you improv and you talk to the crowd you might want to keep that into the special that's not a part of your set mm. so we need to get the crowd reaction with that there's just a whole bunch of things also too like i've it's fun for me you know yeah. what I mean? Like okay. I, it's it's really fun for me, and there are other people who I have offered this to, yeah. but I don't believe in them that much. <laughs> <laughs> and they've asked, and I was like, "Go get better. <clears throat> don't waste my time with this. All right? Yeah. You don't even make me laugh. How yeah. can you make multiple people laugh? <laughs> they all stop doing comedy. <laughs> all right? But for you, yeah. I'm excited because now yeah, it's okay. like on my end, I'm like, okay, this is gonna be really fun. Because mm. who knows? Maybe when I shoot mine, I get to practice with you, and then I'm learning along the way too. That'll be cool. Yeah, but I'm telling you, the you're next gonna one, start doing it or what, man? I don't, don't don't fucking yell at me, all right? <laughs> don't yell at me. You said this summer. I'm I just want to let everybody. Do know you not see those tomatoes summer. I'm growing right now? <laughs> all right. Do you want me to neglect the tomatoes I put all my energy into? Well, well what? How come you got into the uh, botanical tomato <laughs> thing? <laughs> I don't know what botanical is. It's scary gardening. <laughs> so what do you mean scary? Look okay, at boo. All right. <laughs> well, this is where I scare my tomatoes alive. Yeah, boo. <laughs> but um, I, if you don't know this about me, I'm a fucking odd human being. When I, but you never did this before. I, when I get into something, I get into it a little too much. Like it becomes very, very, very obsessive. Yeah. Right. So. I've had two years where I did tomatoes and they failed on me. Miserably. Two years? Two years of my life. When? Two sum the last two summers in a row. Yeah. Oh. Failed miserably. And it's been eating away at me. I don't like losing. Oh, wow. Right? This year, look at those <laughs> bitches. Dude, this motherfucker got a whole forest of tomatoes. Because <laughs> you said you were scared that some of them was going to die. I germinated 72 plants. And all germinated. of them, and then I just was like, they're all here. What do I do with 72 fucking tomatoes? Yeah. But so instead I gave away a lot, a lot of them died, Definitely. but I've, I've kept a few. And now I'm doing this farm project with a bunch of friends of mine. I've basically went from the age 35 to 86. <laughs> and this is my life now. Wait, what do you mean farm project? So everybody knows that I really love food, right? I fucking hate you, dude. Okay. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> no, then don't, what? Don't, don't say this. <laughs> So I'm trying to do this farm project where I, it's, it's permaculture, right? You you basically, you you eat what you sow. And this you, is okay. when you know Jumbi Macha is doing great. <laughs> is that this motherfucker planting potatoes <laughs> or tomatoes every day? Just getting into a real so deep. Jason's like, okay, I have been grinding my ass off. Killing myself. <laughs> so, putting out garbage specials because I got no other option. And I come this guy's planting tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> like was I lost <laughs> for two years I planted tomatoes and it didn't grow so guess what <laughs> this third year I'm gonna get these tomatoes <laughs> alright my life is hard man <laughs> my life is so hard dog. okay tomatoes so I'm doing this permaculture thing where yeah. we're let's see long story short okay. right chickens yeah um a uh, bug larvae that feeds the chickens. The chickens give us eggs. We eat the eggs. Yeah. That in turn gives us fertilizer. We compost it. We put it back into plants. We re sow the seeds. So everything is free. Yeah. Right. So this is the most Asian thing ever. I don't ever want to pay for Man. food ever. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And so we're, we're doing this thing at my buddy's house and we're redoing his whole backyard. His name is Robin. So he is me times 30. Like he's wow. wildly obsessive. Right. So mm -hmm. I just take a little bit of his insanity and apply it to my life. So my stuff is like this. He has like literally 40 tomato plants. Well, how'd you find, a, he only has tomatoes? No, we, we're doing everything. We're oh, doing like er, herb garden. And so right now we're, we're- How did you find this person? We met each other through food. Cause wow. he, he did this thing called uh, Little Meats LA where we would take, he would take chefs who, you know, they work in kitchens and whatever, whatnot, but they don't get to work on their own menus cause they don't have their own uh, restaurant. Yeah. So we would set these, he would set these dinner parties where basically it would be like 10 people would come and the chef gets to explain every dish that they make. 
Wow. So, so I met him through that and we did our own little thing and now we're doing this. Well, well what did he say? Because you met him through the, the chef saying stuff, course meal thing. Mm -hmm. What did he say that you're like, man, I want to befriend him? Um, he's kind of nuts. Like, yeah. uh, like he's been on this podcast before, but I'll, he'll, oh, okay, got it, but got I'll it. tell you, like, he hasn't told these stories, right? But like, just for example, yeah. I think he's broken his forearms like three or four times just for motorcycling accidents. Oh my God. Like he has like a missing shaved finger because when he flew off the fucking motorcycle, like his hand grazed across the floor when he was skipping like a fucking, like a river rock. <laughs> <laughs> He grinded his fucking finger down. And so it's just That's a nub crazy. and a little baby nail. Oh my God. If you look into his arms, like there's two major scars from when he broke both of his forearms. And I saw a photo of him in the hospital bed. Just <laughs> like, like in the movies. Like in the like in the movies. That's crazy. He's fucking nuts. Okay. So he is I, I took that inspiration and applied it to my life. Yeah, that's a lot. That that when it's something somebody's really extreme, it really interests me as well. Well, I just like, I get into like weird hobbies and stuff like yeah. that. So this needs to complete this year. Because if not, I'm never going to do stand-up. <laughs> like, I'm working on material all the time. But the, most of the time is spent on the tomatoes right now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And you see how healthy they are? They, they seem cute. It's yeah. a, don't, no, they're, they're healthy, all right? Okay, they're, they're not beautiful. cute. I'll beat your ass. Don't disrespect my tomatoes. <laughs> I thought cute was a compliment. Oh, don't fucking like, call them cute. Like they're fucking healthy as shit and they're strong and robust. <laughs> you have no idea. Last year, I grew four tomato plants, right? Guess how yeah. many tomatoes I got? None. Half of one. What? Like one little baby ass tomato. I divided that shit into like eight pieces to save it because I was so <laughs> sad. It was the saddest thing I've ever you done. You freeze it? <laughs> I froze it. I was like, oh, dude. December. <laughs> mm, I'm a winner. I called it my trauma tomato. <laughs> Just like that. Wait, 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 wait. These are the big ones or the small ones? They're multiple ones. So I'm oh, growing okay. um, black princes, mm. um, big rainbows, uh, beef steaks, pink brandy wines, uh, sun golds, momotaros, snow whites, and also... Do you think, do you think you're a little bit autistic? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I watch the videos because I relate. <laughs> yeah, this is my people. <laughs> Jonathan, <laughs> I, I watched the videos. I'm like, I belong. But you know, like I, I told the story of the pot. Remember I told you like I, <clears throat> my best friends growing up in elementary school were the yeah. kids in the special class. Oh yeah. Yeah, I didn't know. Okay, let me ask you. Well, okay, and I want to talk about this, but uh, the special class, how come you befriended them? Cause you think they're talented? <laughs> they tricked me with snacks. <laughs> I'm not even lying. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> That is, are you, you, they tricked you with that. What do you mean? That was a kid. Okay. I'm going to tell the story again. And you guys, if there's new listeners, but there was a kid yeah. whose parents owned like a, like a liquor store or whatever, whatnot. Right. And look, when you're a kid, you just enjoy people's presence. Yeah. Right. And you don't know if yeah, there's something weird with that. I'm not looking at color or anything yeah. else like that. I'm just looking at people who will treat me nice. And there wasn't a lot of people at the time. Okay. And so there's this one kid, his name was <laughs> and used to always have these Funyuns. And he would always share them with me. And yeah. so we bonded because, you know, he would give me fucking Funyuns and shit. Oh, that's nice. Super fucking nice. Yeah. But then, you know, people would try to punk him. And I'm a big kid. I was yeah. like this size when I was six. Oh, damn. Right? So I would tell people to leave him alone. Yeah. So this kid who was in like in the special class somehow used me with snacks to pr for protection. He feeds you. He feeds, feeds the monster. Me. Hungry. <laughs> me, me hungry. here. <laughs> I protect you. <laughs> you don't touch him. He give me food. <laughs> okay. And so I actually didn't know this kid was like, you know, different. Yeah. And the only way I found out was actually when I was in, in, um, in fucking high school where I saw him and he was still dressed in the same clothes, basically oh. the style of clothes that he was wearing when he was oh. in elementary school. And he used to get punked a lot because he used to dress up like a Pee Wee Herman, like the bow tie and, oh, and like wow. the suit and stuff and like suspenders. Oh, wow. Well, he was dressed like that as an adult in high school and then it clicked i was like wait it took you that long i didn't know because i moved schools so it was all the way till i was like in third grade uh -huh. which i probably should have figured it out by then yeah yeah but i did it next thing you know i see him as an adult i'm like oh my god he's special oh okay and he was one of my best friends and yeah. i had no fucking idea mm. happened twice it was two kids <laughs> 
but I was just kicking it with the kids in the special class. And yeah. I had no fucking idea. Mm. That's what I'm saying. I'm a good person. Well, you didn't know you were. <laughs> All right. You didn't know. <laughs> I'm putting it down. <laughs> I, I actually, so I have a psychiatrist. Uh -huh. uh, and I, she, yesterday we were talking and then she said that I, I, she thinks, but the next session we're going to talk about it some more, but she thinks that I have autistic tendencies. <laughs> like <laughs> one thing is called, um, I'm sorry. Restricted. Hey, hey. hey, uh, my name is Jason and I'm here and I want to talk about my feelings. Well, let's start with your brain first. <laughs> you're autistic uh, oh okay so let's let's not talk about my feelings already but let's start with this first you might be a little you know autistic yeah, follow my yeah, finger why did she why why did she talk about that I don't know. I, that's a good point dude i'm gonna ask you next time you wanna, this is not your job bitch it's like hey bitch like i'm here to talk about my family trauma how dare you <laughs> Like, I'm talking about my dad. She's like, are you retarded? <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> She's just, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, here's some blocks. This is a circle. See it, see where this block fits into this thing. Oh, that's so funny. Wait, why did she bring that up? Um, well, just some of the things that I say. And she's like, oh, like these things are like tendencies. And I was like, hey, do you think maybe i'm on the spectrum and she's like yeah some of them is uh she's like we'll talk about it some more at the thing and then um because one thing there's two things i do <laughs> one is that uh like i i really don't have interests like a lot of interests like it's called restricted interest that's one of the tendencies that if you're on the spectrum that's one of the things so it's like you know how you have many interests and I get so like whatever your interest is, I may not be interested. Like sports, I cannot. Like I, I I like experiences, but I just are very disinterested that it hurts. Like if you say like um like tomatoes are actually cool because I never actually like know about it. Like that piques my interest a bit. But if it's something that I know of and I just are not interested in, it hurts to like do like talk about the thing or be around the thing like it the the feeling is just more extreme than normal people like so like when you're so like the first time you ever had sex with your wife you're just like it's okay it's okay is, <laughs> it's i okay. just go ah, i mean do we have to she goes how was it you're like it's okay <laughs> i'm autistic <laughs> we have to do it every day yeah <laughs> why do you want it so much I'm tired. Let's do Let's something else. Penis. It's not even working. Have you tried growing tomatoes? <laughs> it's like we're in the middle of having sex. <laughs> well, I had never heard of that shit. Yeah, it's restricted interest. That's one thing. And then another thing is like, I like to listen to music, like one song for a while. And when I say a while, it would be like, this one song that I like right now. That I a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. And all man, all P. Autistic. <laughs> but, but but anyways, I don't know what I talked about. But anyways, yeah. But I, I but, but Wait, how long, okay. Let's say there's like a song that you really, really fucking like, right? How, yeah. How long will you listen to it for? I li so I, I was traveling and I maybe with the travel time was like twelve hours. I listened to it a whole day, one song. I, I would just put the earplugs in. What the yeah, fuck? one song on repeat. I love it. It's so good. Twelve hours. What's the yeah, song? There's a um. I'll tell you. It's by Lee Hong Gi. It's uh, I think still loves you. You fucking, you know that you one Chinese fuck. No, no, that that it's a Korean song, dude. I don't know who the fuck that is, dude. It's a Korean song. That he belts it. Um, you know what I'm talking about. But I want to hear still, some. still love you. Or are you crying while you're driving for twelve hours? <laughs> no, this is a good one. It's Korean. You know this song. <laughs> No mas, no mas. <laughs> You're for sure on the spectrum. <laughs> you Why are you listening to a song that you should be listening to in the rain as your as, your, as a person you love is in your arms? I do. I pour water. Were you crying when you listened to that song? No, I, I'm like enjoying. I enjoy the melody. You listen to that song for that long? Yeah, and, and multiple days. I've, I've been listening to this song for like 
like two months now, two, three months. Cause God damn. Yeah. I, I like it like that. And the song before this was Rihanna's, uh, what was that one? This, the, the love one. That, that's okay. That's okay. What the, f how am I supposed to know that shit? Okay. But anyways, I just do one song for like so you a couple months. listen to this. Okay. You know what? You're also finding out about yourself because of that. You're also uh, gay. <laughs> you're what, not, what's like the gay. problem? <laughs> The problem is you have a wife and a kid. What? <laughs> That's the problem. I love them. <laughs> but I'm not sure. <laughs> when I see her, I go, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, what's wrong with you? That's crazy. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm just finding this out myself too. It's news to the both of us. <laughs> You're just like, what the fuck? Wait, wait you, you never thought it was weird though that you could only listen to like a single song for that long? I just thought some people like one song and- Oh yeah, because you wouldn't it. really think that's weird if you're just enjoying yourself. Right? Yeah, I'm having a good time is the thing. But do you not like that? Do, do you not listen to- I mean, to there's like a song that I really like right now that I yeah. fuck with really heavy, but mm -hmm. I've listened to it for maybe the past couple of days, but I'm listening to it while listening to other songs though. Oh, okay, got it, got you it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like I listen to that song and something else comes on, I go, ah, ah! <laughs> No, I don't is do that. Is that what you do? Is that what you do? I don't do that. I'll be like, ah, I don't want to. Do <laughs> you start screaming. Ah, ah! I feel like that's what happens, dude. That's so weird. The, yeah, it's pretty weird. You know what's even weirder? Your wife probably knew this about you, and she still said, I guess I love him. <laughs> She's crazy. Dude, let me tell you something. I thank her every day. The more I discover about myself, the more I'm like, thank you so much. <laughs> Please don't leave me ever. Yeah. Please don't. I, I sometimes yeah. look at my wife, even in the morning where she has boogers all over her face. I'm yeah. like, I can't do any better than this. There's yeah. no way. She's way above me. Yeah. She hasn't figured it out yet. Yeah. I always act like I don't need her, but I really do. <laughs> if she leaves me, I'm fucked. Yeah. I'm fucked. How sad would you be? Oh, I'd be so fucking sad. And yeah. I guarantee you, I probably won't date for like another like six, seven years. Yeah. It's just, she knows everything about me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And she's dealt with all the weird, like for example, She'll ask me some shit, right? Where she'll be like, okay, hey, I'm really want to go hiking in the morning. It's, it's going to be around like 7 a.m. And I'm like, man, I can't do it. I'm so tired. Like, it's just too hard. And then she sees me wake up at 6 a.m. <laughs> to, 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 to these tomatoes. And then I'm like gardening in my sun hat and my gloves. And I look up and I just see her through the blinds like this. <laughs> just fucking pissed. <laughs> she goes, oh, you'll wake up for fucking tomatoes? but you can't go hiking with me in the morning? Yeah. Are you serious? I have nothing to say because I'm wrong. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm wrong. Yeah. But she hasn't divorced me. <laughs> who's who's going to do this? Who who else is going to deal with this shit? There's nobody. There's literally no... I, I sometimes look at myself and I go, dude, you're dumb. Why can't you just be a normal person? I can't believe this tomato thing. But that is so funny though. Dude, she's, that you wake up at six to do she, the tomatoes. <laughs> Sometimes, like I'll even look at myself in the mirror sometimes. Like, okay, the other day she she came in. I said, this happened. This was two fucking moments where I was like, dude, I'm hideous. Like I came into the house. I had my gardening gloves, my sunglasses and my straw hat, right? And she just goes, yuck. <laughs> <laughs> and first, I was a little pissed at first because that was super <laughs> unnecessary, especially when you just walk into the house and that's the first thing you hear from them. Like, yuck. Yeah. I'm like, that's really offensive. And I go into the, the bathroom to wash up because I'm hella pissed. But then I look at myself and I go, I understand. I get yeah. this. So where I where we live right now, our neighbors have like two really like attractive girls that live there, uh -huh. right? <clears throat> Doesn't mean anything. I'm married. Who the fuck cares? Yeah. Here's the problem though. I'm not that much older than them, right? Okay. Not that much, yeah. right? Maybe six, seven years, whatever. Okay. <clears throat> I'm outside and I'm guarding, you know, in my orange shorts yeah. and then my ocean shirt. <laughs> and then my son hat and gloves. I'm out there. I see them and I go, good morning. And they go, good morning, sir. Sir. <laughs> what the fuck, bitch? <laughs> sir? You're not that much older than you. She fucking called me sir. Yeah. Your energy has transformed, man. You can't be doing tomatoes and do the thing and the glove and the thing and then not be called sir. It's too hard to try to be attractive. It is. You got to do your hair. You yeah. have to fucking uh, <laughs> brush your teeth. <laughs> you have to, you know? Mario, just, just, just do it. <laughs> just, just do it. Just leave. 
<laughs> you get can, out of here. Dude, there's this Reddit thread. Do, do it while he's doing the tomatoes. <laughs> I just, I come into the house and everything's gone. <laughs> what happened? She goes, it's me or the tomatoes. <laughs> dude. I, I get so sad sometimes. Because like, I, I understand. It's just very hard to like care about like your physical well-being a lot. You know what I mean? Are well, you doing it right now? It's nice. Yeah, I like look. It's just I, when I see other people and they and they leave the house and they go, "What do I? What do I have to wear? Oh, this is gonna look whack. Oh, I gotta make." I don't think about any of that stuff. I don't even look in the mirror. Do you don't look in the mirror? I I only noticed this not too long ago because she mentioned it. She goes, "Do you ever just before you walk out just look at the mirror?" And I'm like, "Yeah." It's like. <laughs> Dude, fucking this is your like shit in my teeth. There's like eye boogers here. There's like earwax coming out. And then she goes, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Like, yeah. look at the mirror before you leave the house. I was like, yeah. you fucking married me. Like, yeah. I'm not the weird one. You knew about this. Yeah. And you still said, but okay. Let, but let me ask you, when you when you were going out with her in the beginning, did you like, dre- like try to look nice? Like brush your teeth? And I stuff? probably did. That's what I'm saying. But I think it's nice because I do this year too. Only when I go out like to see people would I shower do my hair at home i'm i'm fucking i'm i look i look like this seriously that was very unnecessary <laughs> like whatever this is why you don't have to I, do I look similar <laughs> not like this exactly but almost there you know what the surprise thing is i actually did shower <laughs> this is what i this is what i look like all right i was on a uh, tiger belly the other day yeah. and i had to do uh headshots before i came in but yeah. so i just knocked it out in one go because where I had to go was close to that area that he shoots his podcast. Yeah. So I was like, okay, let's just shoot it here instead of uh, on Friday. So, but you know, when you're doing headshots, you're actually getting your shit done. Yeah. Right. I fucking use lotion on my face. Yeah. I yeah. did my hair. Oh. I brought out the clothes that I never wear. And then they were just like, who the fuck oh, are you? Who yeah. are you? Like, what, what's going on? And I'm like, yeah. that's so sad that when I just dress like a normal human, they think somebody died. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, are you going to a funeral? What happened yeah. in your life? And it was just me in normal clothes. Yeah. I'll tell you something, you're not any better, but I like the t-shirt though. It's fat, what are you good. talking about? When I go, I know when I go, I'm, I'm not like a fashion guy, but because uh, I don't really care about the thing either, but I just want to do it so that. You think I actually like fashion. Oh yeah, that, you, have a, <laughs> you have a fucking company. I love fashion. I love what clothes can do to somebody. I love the way you yeah. could like put things together. That's why I can dress really well. People yeah. have seen it. But then every time I do it, it's just like people expect it out of me now. And I hate it. Cause not, then, cause Who's if you, expecting it out of you? No, because if you dress up nice all the time, everybody expects you to dress nice all the time. Like if you don't, they're like, oh, what's going on with your life? But if you put them at very low standards, right? That's all they expect out of you. So whenever you do do it. That's why when I have sex with my wife, the worst sex ever. <laughs> <laughs> I specifically say you will, ne- <laughs> you will, you will never come. Like, <laughs> Ever, I don't care. <laughs> Only I'm enjoying this, and you are. All right. Yeah. Wow, that sounded way different. That's not what I meant. What I meant is that I put my her expectations low. You're so right. when I do something, it's amazing. Yeah. She does it all the time. Like I'll like do the dishes, and she goes, "You did the dishes." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a good husband. You know, on Reddit there was a whole thread about yeah. me and her, where they were saying like. They were. They had all these clippings of me and her on this podcast, yeah. and like other things that we're doing. They're like, she's clearly in an abusive relationship, <laughs> and she doesn't know how to escape. Is this a real thing? <laughs> like a real thing on Reddit? Wow! They're like she's in an abusive relationship. She doesn't know oh how to escape, God. and we need to help her. <laughs> <laughs> oh I get God. it. Because you look at me and you look at her. I get it. Yeah. But she did this voluntarily, yeah. and she loves me. All right. That's nice. You too. Yeah, I um, I appreciate it. How yeah. did you meet? How did you meet your wife? It was in high school. It was a. <gasps> you guys are high school friend. sweethearts. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, that's hella tight, dude. You yeah. don't ever actually get to see a lot of that. Yeah, but people people always say that, and then they um, but of course it's hard. Like you know, we had we broke up many times. Um, you broke up with her, or she broke both. up with you? Both. Both. I don't believe that. But go ahead. <laughs> She definitely left you. Hey, man. <laughs> Don't tell people. She's like, could you stop listening to that fucking song for the past three months? I'm so sick of it. I can't. <laughs> ABC, ABC. 
This motherfucker don't even know the alphabet. He said A B C A B E. This motherfucker repeated half the fucking part of the beginning and shit. <laughs> what was the first re- time you guys broke up? Um, well, in high school, in high school, we broke up several times. In college, uh, we went to different colleges, so we broke up several times. There what was too. the reason you guys broke up the first time in high school? Um, just stupid stuff. It's always stupid stuff. Um, like we'll fight about colors or whatever. <laughs> You know, like stupid things, like high school stuff. Like uh, we'll go, we're like, oh, that's teal. And then she's like, no, that's green or whatever. And, I go, and you're like, I'm done with this relationship. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> that, was, that was all it took. Yeah. I really like those flowers. It's a weed, idiot. Get out of my face. You're dead to me. It's like, what the fuck? I, I just said it was a flower. Dandelion, dummy. Get the <laughs> fuck out of my face. I'm getting new pussy. A bitch that knows the flower's name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, yeah. Um, dude, you did, I feel really bad about this, but this one time, I don't know. This one time, um, I was so angry at her that I made her walk on the highway. That is very un Taiwanese man of you. Genius brain farts. Let's face it, with coffee starting at $5 and our bank accounts always somehow always depleting, we are officially entering a dupe session. Most products do the same thing but are priced differently solely based on the brand name, so a good duplicate or dupe is crucial for getting the highest quality at the best price. One dupe you definitely shouldn't sleep on is Raycon wireless earbuds because I love them so much. I use them when I'm jogging, uh, working out, kickboxing, going to sleep listening to a dope podcast they are always on me especially when i travel because i love the fact that they have eight hours of play time uh noise isolation for sure awareness mode and a whole bunch of other stuff go to buyraycon.com slash brain today to get 15 percent off your raycon order that's buyraycon.com slash brain to score 15 percent off once again that's buyraycon.com Slash brain. I <laughs> I know how to do the math there on Taiwan. Taiwan nice. If you guys know, like this general stereotype is, is like Taiwanese men are the sweetest. Yeah, we are. Guys, the sweetest. Like they are the sweet. That's why when Asian girls talk about like the type of guy that they want, yeah. they never say they want them to look like Taiwanese guys because they all look stupid weird. But <laughs> then, it's coming from a guy who has a shirt made of an ocean. <laughs> I just have as a yeah, scene man, today. What the hell? <laughs> And what the fuck is this orange bullshit that it's you It's one wearing? piece. It's an anime. It's not helping my case. So we have... <laughs> I'm really cool. I swear. Yeah. But people always say, like, every... Like, Asian girls will say in the Asian community, they, like, go date a Taiwanese guy because they're very sweet. Okay. So to hear that you did some Korean shit is crazy to me. Yeah. I've never done it because I'm a decent human being. But yeah. why did you do that? <laughs> Would, I, this is why I also... I think I, opposites attract... Because I really, she was kind of crazy too. And, of course, she's uh, Korean. I understand. Yeah. So then I think I like that. But then sometimes they do too much. And I'm like, I can't have this around me. It's too much. So go walk on the freeway. Get out of here. <laughs> go go walk off. You're crazy. I'll come yeah. pick you up. Let yeah. me tell you this story. When I was when I was younger, right? I only uh, sympathize and empathize with you because my mom has walked on the freeway so much. <laughs> <laughs> like... So, okay, so they're used to it. It's fine. So it's like their thing. Like whenever, like if you're ever in a car with a Korean girl and you piss her off, she's like, just drop me off right here. I don't give a fuck. They'll say that in a plane. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking drop me off right here. It's like, dude, we're yeah. in the sky. Yeah. What are you like, talking give about? Give me a buoy. I'm ready. Dude, my mom literally, when my dad was on the freeway, she goes, I want to get off. She's screaming. And my dad's like, are you fucking crazy? We're in the middle of a freeway. Yeah. She opens the door as the car is going on the fucking freeway. We have the same mom. My mom did that shit too. What the fuck is that? Yeah. And then my dad has no choice but to stop. Yeah. It happened another time where I wasn't there and she was walking on the freeway and I get a call from the cops. Yeah. Right? I'm like, hey, who is this? I was like, hello? Like, yeah, this is the, you know, this is Elk Grove Police, whatever, whatnot. We have your mom. She's with us right now. And I'm like, she's supposed to be at work. What are you yeah. doing with my mom right now? Yeah. And like, well, your mom was walking on the freeway. I was like, okay, I, I understand. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dad. I was like, you don't, you don't need to explain anymore. I, I understand. And they're like, uh-huh. well, we found her on the freeway. So we have her here at this Walmart. We'll stay with her until you can come pick her up. I was like, okay, I, I'll go get her. And I literally go pick her up. I'm like, why? 
Why yeah. do you keep walking on the freeway? And in Korean, she's like, don't say a fucking word. Just take me to work. <laughs> I just drop her off at work. And then my dad, I remember what he said. He goes, I guess you found yourself your mom, huh? Where was she? Huh? Being a crazy person? What? You're just walking on the freeway. Did you walk here? You got your son to pick you up? Oh, yeah. you must feel good about yourself. This and is my, in public. This is like in the store. And there's like a customer yeah. just looking at wigs. <laughs> Fucking Asian people are nuts, dude. She's yeah. walked on the freeway so much. Yeah. How's your mom walking on the freeway? Not it wasn't a freeway, it was Taiwan. She always gets out of the car, like on the uh, just on the drive, on the go. And she's left so many times, like it, from the car. What did your dad say? She don't just be yelling. Like oh, you just be yelling. Or Flowers. sometimes, huh? Flowers, it's like the same shit that you do. <laughs> it's a family it's trait. Also autistic. <laughs> She's like, I said it was green. <laughs> That's where I got it from. It's a turquoise. <laughs> I tell you so much. It's a turquoise. Bo hang yi sei Yeah. So your family's crazy, dude. But uh, I think all, all Asian family, you know, are crazy. There's this one thing. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. We're just going on a tangent, but I remember <laughs> my. <laughs> I remember this one time I was at my grandma's house and then um, they, were, they were, you know, they yelled all the time. It's just always yelling. So I yelled a lot, like when I was younger too. And that's why we broke up, me and my wife. But um, but uh, I would hear like loud banging. And usually my mom just be banging on hidden stuff, you know? And I'm like, why is it not stopping? And then I go outside. My mom is banging her head into the cement wall like 30 times. Is your mom my mom? Dude, I swear to God, like full on again, uh, blood coming out, just banging on the dick. I said turquoise. Bro. <laughs> did, did she do that too? So not the wall. Yeah. But my dad literally sent me a video. She goes, your mom has lost her mind. She's crazy. Yeah. And once again, what does he end it with? I need to find you a new mommy. <laughs> he keeps saying this shit. I'm going to stop calling it mommy. And also I'm old now. This is enough. He sent me a video of her with like a, like a steel chair. Yeah. Steel chair. Like the WWE ones. Yeah, and she yeah. just went, she was banging it on, banging it on her fucking head. Yeah. Dude, we have the same mom. Dude, 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 some of the things I've been thinking about recently, like, cause they, not everybody do that too. And my mom. I think most it, people don't. <laughs> you don't think most people? Yeah. I think it's just they, our parents. She, there's one thing, this is her signature move. You know how like, <laughs> In, in, in like uh, like video games, dude. up down up yeah up down, right. down yeah yeah. This is one of her moves. If you don't down now up down a, yeah. then she will slide down the wall with her back and then scream at high bitch. Ah! <laughs> like high bitch like somebody, for like thirty seconds. Like somebody sniped her from a distance. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ah! Just so dramatic. Yeah. 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 That, that's one of her, her moves. I don't know what we're talking about, but it's funny. My yeah. mom's signature move, dude. Her up, down, left, right, triangle, square, yeah, R1, yeah. R2. Is that she would go say that she's running away to Korea and then she would go hide somewhere in the house so we can't find her. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Not in the house. She would hide somewhere in the house and she goes, her secret hiding place was just the garage. <laughs> Like, bitch, it's the fucking garage. I can see you. And but that shit hurts, though. You just turn the flashlight on in the garage and you see your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nutbag. She's also planting tomatoes. I know. She has a hat. She has a hat. <laughs> Don't worry. It's a tomato, okay? I just to make a tomato. Dude, one time, this girl, this lady, she fucking literally, we, I couldn't find her at all in the house. Yeah. Didn't know where she was at. She fucking tricked us because she knows that I always go to the garage and that's where she is. And she's like, I'm going to be smart. You'll never find me. So she fucking slept in the backyard in like the like squash patch. And I didn't know and until like the next day I saw something move in the back. I run out to the backyard. It's my mom. And she has like 8,000 mosquito bites all over. Oh my God, dude. dude she <laughs> slept on the outside? Just because she wanted to fucking teach us a lesson. But I'm like, you lost. <laughs> I, sl I slept in a bed. Yeah. With air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> you... Your face is fucked up. Well, why did you go outside to teach you and your brother? Because she wanted to scare us because she thought we were going to look for her. Oh, yeah, yeah. I fell asleep. <laughs> I, I just woke up. I like, what the, what the fuck? And I just see this creature come out from the squash blossoms. 
<laughs> like, I guess you learned your lesson now. I'm like, what the fuck is that? I got scared, dude. When yeah. you see somebody with like 400 mosquito bites on their face, it's oh hideous. My God. That's that's the type of fucking family trauma I go through. Yeah. Your family's weird too. <laughs> yeah. That would all make sense. I can't yeah. believe you or somebody who used to raise your voice. You don't even seem like that type. I used to yell like really loud. Me too. I don't do it anymore. Yeah, me too. Why did you? Why did you also? It's because your dad and stuff did it. My dad did it all the time, and and I and my I mean my mom too. They're both, but I think it's because of that. Like, cause I thought that just everybody does it like that. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, that, I didn't know that. Neither did I. I really didn't know how to communicate communicate like normally until the recent years, like the past ten years. I learned slowly every day. I go, you don't have to be loud. You don't have to bang your head against the you wall. You don't have to bang your head. So you don't I, have to scream. We, you know, I talked about this too, where. Um, Mariel and I, like we grew up in very different households, right? Yeah. But she also grew up with the Korean family. So she had a certain amount of this, but my family was a little more extreme. Like you go into my house, there's holes in the wall everywhere. Cause yeah. we just be punching holes in walls. Yeah. Like it's normal, yeah. you know? I'm angry, BAM! Okay, <laughs> what's for dinner? You know, <laughs> so like we would do this shit. So one time, you know, Mariel was like pissing me off and we were getting into a heated fucking argument. I'm like, dude, I'm so sick of this shit. And there's like this little, her eye cream, it was like this big. Like I shit you Ooh. not like this big and I fucking threw it on the floor. Oh no. Bro. This small, right? And this little thing just went boink, boink, and it shattered everywhere. And then she just, she was like, I can't, I can't be in this house. And I'm like, it was just ice, eye cream. <laughs> and I was so confused, <laughs> right? She goes, you're scaring me. I'm like, yeah. it's eye cream. Yeah. In my mind, I'm like, you don't just throw like little tiny things. And so she goes, no, I don't like that type of stuff. You're not supposed to break things when you get into, when you fight. Like even if yeah. I'm being crazy, like you, you shouldn't break things. That's frightening. And I'm like, oh, this is not normal. Because <laughs> like <I, clears throat> for me, I'm doing better. Yeah. Because I'm not throwing fucking. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> wrecking everything. I was like, like what? You th I didn't punch a hole in the wall. She goes, yeah. you shouldn't break anything. And I'm yeah. like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, this is not right. And I've never done it since. But one time I, I, I got mad and I threw something again. Yeah. It's because I remembered how inappropriate it was. I had this Nike windbreaker yeah. and I just fucking threw it. And I just went. Poof. <laughs> and then I got so mad because yeah. it was not satisfying. <laughs> it yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah it just kind of floated. Yeah, and I was like, I hate this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I just walked outside and I went for like a two mile walk. So I was so pissed. <laughs> oh, you don't yell, man. We don't yell. Yeah, we don't yell. Yeah, but we you have to learn that slowly. I think. I know sometimes I get I, I raise my voice. It's just how I grew up in my house. Yeah, and like it's 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 a hard habit to break. Because your brain is so like that's just how you did it, yeah. And you don't have another way to do it. Like when you feel angry or frustration, you, you go there immediately. It's not like we're like, okay, I'm gonna get angry now. It's like that's just how it goes, dude. The one of a very famous, and especially because I'm Korean, Korean people love getting angry. Like yeah. that's like our hobby. Yeah. Like if we're not angry, we actually live like fucking shorter. Yeah, but it's supposed to be the opposite. But for Korean people, when we yell, we actually live a hundred years longer. Yeah. There's this phrase that my mom says that all Korean parents know this, all kids know this. It goes, Nodu chuku, nodu chuku ri ta jugo. and that's literally you, you die, die, I die, <laughs> we all die. Yeah. And I'm like, why do you say things like this? Yeah. But she said this to me since I was a little fucking kid. It's yeah. like if I did if I didn't do my homework, oh really? You die, I die, we all die. I'm like, <laughs> it's just math. Like, why do why do we have to commit suicide for this? You spill water. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, you die, I die, we all die. She said she would say some crazy fucking shit. Yeah. And I also think what I started to realize was my the reason why they flip out is because our dads are so stubborn yeah. that they don't listen to anything at all. So the only way they can get through to them is if right. they do crazy shit. Yeah, yeah. And they go, "Okay, maybe I should listen a little bit." Right. So they have to go to these fucking extremes because they're so pig-headed. Yeah. They don't listen to anybody. No, yeah. And, and so my mom has to, you know, and they're angry too is the thing. Yes. So they so they yell at the mom and then the mom gets crazy too. Dude, I just got into a, a shouting match with my mom this last weekend yeah. and it was over something small. Not even small. It was something that I told her to. And then one of the things I don't like is that she never keeps her promises. Like literally my mom is the biggest liar I've ever met in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking you want to talk about somebody who lies? Dude, I would tell her some shit where like <laughs> I'd be like, "Okay, this is what's going on with my older brother, right?" Yeah. I was like, he told me not to tell you, but because I feel like you should know because this is something very important, but I just want you to play it cool, all right? Mm. Literally, I get a call 10 minutes later. I can't believe you told mom. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck happened? What happened here? Yeah. And I call her up. I was like, what did you do? I said, I told them that, I, that you told me. I was like, what the fuck <laughs> did I just say? 
Yeah. What the fuck? She goes, what? And then she gets mad at me. She goes, what's the problem? Why are you yelling at me? I get fucking mad. So she has this habit of making promises and fucking breaking them. Yeah. So one of the things I told her not to do was like, don't ever bring up money to me. All right. Yeah. I was like, listen, whenever you need money, just ask. Yeah. I'll, I'll give it to you. If you need it, I got you. Right. Yeah. But so she's going to Korea uh, in, in a little bit. And I told her, listen, I scheduled this money to go out in the first yeah. of the month. That's when the checks come in. So I can give you a bigger sum right now because I have to manage my finances. And she goes, okay, got it. Fucking calls me three times in a row. Where's the money? Where's I was like, is it the first of May? And I keep telling, I was like, look, I told you, don't mention this stuff. When you say things like this, like you, you're basically saying that I'm not going to take care of you. Yeah. And I told you oh, I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's offensive. She goes, I got it. I won't bring up money. I promise. This will happen the next day. Hey, so uh, where's the money? <laughs> I fucking flip my fucking shit. We get into this huge argument and we're yelling at each other. And my dad grabs the phone. Yeah. My dad grabs, he goes, what are you guys fighting about? I was like, this fucking lady <laughs> can't keep her fucking prom. I told him not. He goes, listen. And he says to me in Korean, he goes, you're fucking retarded. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm getting mad at him. I was like, you just call me retarded? <laughs> Because I know that's a thing. Yeah, I was like, like, why you, why you, why am I retarded? I was like, she's the one acting like a fucking idiot. He goes, listen, I've been married to her for years. Yeah, I can't change her. Why the fuck do you think you can change her, dude? That's another thing that I try to like realize, try to realize recently. Like sometimes you could try to explain something in detail, like objectively or whatever, in other perspectives, but. At the end of the day, it's just like, that's just how they are. You just got to work around that. Yeah. He goes, she's crazy. Yeah. I go, I know this. I yeah. gave up. Yeah. I gave up years ago. He goes, I'm yeah. dead inside. <laughs> He's like, why, why do you think you can change her and I can't? He yeah. goes, you think you're better than me? Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, you're, it's like, you think you're better than me? I've been trying to change this fucking <laughs> shitty habit her for like fucking, for the last fucking 50 years I've known her. It's yeah. not going to happen. Yeah. It's not going to change. Give it up. Yeah. Just give it up. She's going to do this. You're going to say you're going to give her something and she's going to hound you about it. Even if you tell her not to, she's going to do it all the time. And so I go to on my, on, she, he gives the phone back to my mom and I'm like, hey, you're, you lost your mind. I was like, fine, fuck it. I don't care anymore. You could ask me the same fucking question over and over about money as much as you want. But the one thing you have to say to me is this. I was like, I need you to say this. You have to say that I understand that I'm being unreasonable, right? Okay. And, but I'll accept it. She goes, no, I don't. Bro, I fucking busted up laughing. I started crying laughing because of how ridiculous this woman is. Yeah. She literally said, no, I don't. I was like, dog, you can't even give me a little W. Yeah, little W. She, she won't give me anything. She goes, no, I yeah. don't. And I started crying laughing and my mom yeah. starts dying laughing too. She was like, you're not going to beat me. What? You're not. And I think I was laughing because I lost. I think I lost my mind. I just gave up. I was like, I get it. I can't win. It's yeah. not going to happen. She even knows she's crazy, and she goes, yeah. "I'm not changing." That's so funny, Doug. My mom's the same way. Why? She knows that she, she just has to win with like small things like that. But um, <laughs> but what's it called? The uh, yeah. But they they know though. They they know that that that's what it is. That's how just, they do it. She just tries to rip my soul away every day. And like, I just sat there laughing my ass off. I'm like, okay, I give up. I, I understand. And just my dad just calling me retarded was yeah. like, how dare you? <laughs> he goes, you're so like in Korean, it's like Pyongshin. Like it yeah. means you're retarded. Mm -hmm. He's like, you're fucking retarded. Yeah. So and I know like when you guys hear that, some people get triggered, but you know, this is cultural differences. Like Korean people use this phrase a lot, mm. a lot. We're very harsh with our words. So sometimes yeah. when I say the word, like people are like, you shouldn't say it. I'm like, oh, I keep forgetting because I'm switching in between two different cultures and languages, right? Mm. And I'm pretty sure like in Korean, like we like always, like a phrase in Korean is like, you want to die? Yeah. <laughs> like, no chugule? Yeah. They say that to like their two year old kid. Yeah. You know, so it's very, very harsh. Right. <clears throat> What's that in, ta in uh, Taiwanese? Do you guys have phrases like that? Yeah, 你想死吗? It's, it's the same thing. But the thing is, um, I feel like, but in but Korean culture, if you if two adults say it to each other, I feel like you guys actually do mean it. Because you guys <laughs> fight yeah. a lot. Like Korean culture, I feel like you guys are more, like um, I think it was my aunt or whoever went to Korea and they said that when they waited in line, when she wasn't like as far as possible to the, person in front of her in line the person behind her pushes her like with her body not like aggressively push but just like nudging shoving her forward and um i never that that's not something that is like 
This we is what I say. That in and Korean like people that. might get mad when I say this, yeah. but <clears throat> I don't care. Korean people are basically Asians that think they have Japanese etiquette, but they're really Chinese. <laughs> That's a Korean person. They go, oh, we're better than you, yeah. but they're also smoking and spitting on the floor. Yeah. But the thing is, Chinese people, it's actually, it's when they, the intention is different. Like the Chinese people, they're just like, just hurry up and go. But then I feel like Koreans have a little more like aggression. Like, why the fuck are you not moving forward? Yeah, because we're, we're real as fuck. Right? <laughs> this, yeah. is why, this is why you don't have a real country yet. All right. You guys are too nice. <laughs> You're always, bu hao bu hao bu hao I heard that shit so much in Taiwan. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Why is everybody that. saying this phrase? She goes, they're saying, excuse me. I'm like, you don't have to. Yeah. Hey, bu hao bu hao I'm like, listen, you say that one more fucking time. I'll beat yeah. your ass. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm Korean. <laughs> so it makes sense. You guys are so nice and polite out there. Yeah. Like, like, literally, it's really fucking nice. I think it's because we lost the civil war. <laughs> so this, your spirit, your fighting spirit went away. It's over, yeah. <laughs> That's why sometimes I'm like, I know Taiwanese people are not weak, but I just think that sometimes it could come off like that. I it's kindness, kindness, yeah. It's very, very kind. The street food is fucking amazing. It's it's weird. Like, it reminds me of it's Chinese people. I know that sounds offensive. This is from an outsider person. Chinese people, but but very Japanese because mm. of like the you know the, they 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 raped us. Okay, yes, <laughs> the colonization. Yeah, <laughs> they raped us. This is historically accurate. Yes. They're, they're like, you guys integrated Japanese culture. I'm like, yeah, because they raped us. We have to accept it. We have no choice. But at least they treated you nicer than they treated us. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah no, 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 no. They, did they leave? I feel like they left on them because somebody else wanted like, I think Chinese We won. are done. <laughs> they, they just left. They're like, oh, we try. Okay. And they just freaking left. With Korea, we had to force them out. Yeah. Like, I don't want to go. I'm like, you happy to leave? Get out right now. No. <laughs> so like you guys were probably because I know like Taiwanese people they they like Japan. We we like Japanese culture. Yeah yeah yeah. But we just embraced it. We like Korean culture too. That's what's sad about it. Like I don't mind like the whole thing. It's just it's sad that people don't get to experience like Taiwanese culture because the food is good and we embrace all the cultures is the thing like Korean culture, K-pop and you know K drama. We but love. you guys also yeah. fucked up the indigenous people in Taiwan too. Just a little bit. <laughs> I didn't, even, did. I didn't even know there was indigenous people until yeah. I went there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And they was looked the like, island. They looked they like Samoans, like yeah. Polynesian people. Yeah. Well, that's the same thing with like Eng any migration, like English. That's true. American people did that to, to the Native the Americans world. here. I it's kind of crazy when I saw that though. Yeah. And I, I saw this whole different culture I had no idea about. And like yeah. the, the language is still there. Yeah. When, we, when we're younger, we have to sing it. Yo de yo emadaya ho yo hey. You're making shit up right I, now. I made up a little couple words. Okay, that, but that was a real thing that we that have. That sounds to, Native American as fuck right now. I swear to God, and, and those making, are some of the words are actually it. All right, what did you say? Uh huh. What did you say right now? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I said, but it was a song. I swear to God. The, the, if you're Taiwanese, you would know. I just know Wakariko. I used to hear that. Wakariko. Yeah, I used to hear that all the time. I don't know what that means. Wakariko. Let me tell you something. Okay. That's what it means. Oh really? Yeah. I, I had no idea. Go. See, I hear things and I remember it. That's funny. You see that? I'm a, I'm a cultural dude. No, you're autistic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, actually, I, I have like pretty severe ADHD. Yeah. And uh, it started with Tim taking his testing and then he sent it over to me to go. You can get, you can see a doctor online and you yeah. do like a Zoom call and shit like that. You know, when people assess people, like usually it's about like 30 minutes. That bitch assessed me in like two minutes. That shit was so fast. I was, I was a little offended. <laughs> So we don't need to take any I more just tests. I turned it on. She goes, yep. I'm like, I didn't even say my no, name. No, no, she just looks at you. Yep. <laughs> yep, that's a thousand dollars. Like, what do you mean? She's like, she goes, well, I turned it on. Your t-shirt's backwards. You have fucking eye boogers on. And also, I'm looking at the back of your head. The camera's this way. <laughs> You're holding two tomatoes. <laughs> two tomatoes. I have, a, I have a sun hat on, two tomatoes. I'm backwards this way. <laughs> and my shirt is on the other way. She goes, yep. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> she goes, How did you know? <laughs> it's the easiest thousand dollars I've ever made in my life. <laughs> my ADHD is like pretty severe. And it's weird because I kind of always, they didn't always know, but it's, it's frustrating when I was a kid because I never understood why I just couldn't focus. Because I would see other people in class and they're just, yeah, you know? Yeah. 
and I would like hate myself as a kid because I'm like, I can't do this. Does your parents go always like, why don't you just focus? Yeah, and I was like, dude, I'm stupid. <laughs> like, you gotta understand this. I can't yeah. do, I can't sit still. Yeah. I'm just moving my fucking, like now that Mariel understands this, she can see it now. Yeah. Where she's telling me something really important. Like the other day she goes, can I tell you something about my work? And she, she goes, I'm like, yeah, go ahead. And then my face goes, <laughs> immediately start drifting off the, this way yeah. and then I come back and I'm looking at her she goes you don't you didn't listen to anything that I said I'm like I, I'm so sorry yeah. like I'm trying my best but yeah. it reminds me of me being in college in high school elementary yeah. school all that other stuff where I could I would look at other people study and their focus and I couldn't do it yeah. unless it's something I enjoy right so that's like a huge sign that you have like ADHD because I, I basically my argument to her was like I can focus like I love tomatoes and I'm not even shitting you. I was yeah. like, I, when I garden, I can garden for hours. And she goes, that's actually a big sign that you have ADHD. <laughs> that's actually one of the, the top things. <laughs> it's like, you can only focus on the things that you enjoy, yeah. but things that are important that's not in your realm of hobbies, you yeah. can't focus at all. She yeah. goes, that is the biggest indicator that you have ADHD. Mm. And I was using that as my defense. <laughs> I was like, dude, I've been growing tomatoes for like four months. She goes, this guy's an idiot. <laughs> Not only do you have ADHD, you're oh, an idiot. I didn't idiot. know that. Yeah. I don't think I don't knew that. Yeah. Because like we need a certain level of like uh, stimulus. But you could also, yeah, that's true. But you, but you could also focus in things though, like in conversation. I noticed that you could also focus in like a certain topic. Because really well. I enjoy this. Like, oh, okay. I love talking to people. I love sharing stories. But certain topics too, is that you, you're like, oh man, like, but sometimes I, I even forget, but you are like pretty, you have the, you still have the through line of, of that topic and you could come back to it and stuff. But watch this though, watch you, let, like, let's say, I don't know, Mario's like, I'm I, like, I'm about to give birth right now. And I go, okay, tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what? my, so I started like streaming for like a month. I just did it just to try oh. it out to see if I liked it. It was too exhausting, but it was fun oh. for the fans. So I continued it for about a month. And then people actually finally got to see, they're like, oh, you do have ADHD. Because even when I'm streaming, I'm on like 40 different topics for like 40 minutes. Just like this, bouncing. <laughs> but you know what the thing is, is I, I know like to you and to me, that that's the funnest and easiest way to have conversation. But then um, Carrie will always tell me like, hey, this is bad for the listeners because if it's like exhausting to listen to things like that, but I don't know. But I, like, do we do it for the people who's listening? Or well, what, like, is, do what does Carrie uh, do for a living? She's a kindergarten teacher. Oh, she does. So she has she's... really, she's really patient. <laughs> no wonder I she thank her every you. day, dude. <laughs> she understands you. That's that's so funny. I'm she's, sorry. She's like, this is my twenty third kid. <laughs> this is like... My permanent kid, Jason. <laughs> that's how she tells you, Jason. Yes, Miss Chan. <laughs> Did you eat today? Yes. <laughs> okay. So what do you do when you put on your underwear? Where does the pee hole go? Does it go here or there? Yeah. I thought that was the poop hole. <laughs> do, do I show the neighbors? <laughs> That's a, no wonder she's very patient. And she's patient. That makes sense now. Yeah. I, have, I have a friend who's an elementary school teacher and mm. she's very patient too. You need to be uh, to be like a kindergarten teacher for sure or just elementary great. school. Yeah, I'm really grateful that she's. You patient. should be, dude. I am every day. Well, like, what would happen if she left you? Like, what was the first thing that you would do besides cry? First, dude, I wouldn't care about a lot of things. Like, I, I think a lot more destructive, like way destructive. Because I, I was talking to a friend, and um, I wasn't, I wasn't like, because the before I started doing stand up, I worked with my family, but before that, I was a before I started working, like before I was waiter and all that, I sold drugs like any other teenager. I can't even imagine I know. selling drugs. That is hilarious. I had the best time is the thing. So I think I would want to sell drugs because to me, you because the ADHD thing, like I can't do any work. <laughs> so I have to like just sell drugs and have fun with people, but I can't really, I don't think I could do you that. You make a lot of money selling drugs? Yeah, it was a great time. I can't imagine you selling drugs at all. But I, I was so a fun guy. <laughs> You don't have to be serious okay, but, to sell drugs. Uh, did you only sell to your friends or did you like try to get sales through other, like with strangers? Dude, okay, the first, 
Okay, are you gonna sell me drugs? Okay, I'm walking around having a good time. No, not strangers. No, no, I want like you to you sell should, me drugs. Okay, All right, okay. Let's do your sales tactic, you fucking loser. Okay. Here we go. Hey, man. Still how's on. it going? Do you like drugs? Fucking narc. <laughs> <laughs> let's be running away hey, right wait, now. Wait, <laughs> wait, come back. He's a narc. Wait, don't say that. Hey, you like drugs? I'm like, what the fuck? How did you make a living off of this? No, we were, what do you mean? They, it wasn't me. Like they already have like a bunch of people that what get it What kind of drugs did you sell? Weed? No, X, Coke, weed. Yeah. Oh, then you had the whole cocktail. Yeah, it was just like this guy's uh, house. But what I'm saying is that it makes it, I did that for a while. And then that kind of fucked up my value of money because um, I was, it came really easy like at that time and I did it for a bit. And, then, and I think for like an ADHD and like an autistic brain, you're like, oh man, that's easy. And I went to the first way, rave I went to, it was EDC when it was 2006 or 2007. I was like 15 or 16 or something. And then we would sneak X in there and then we'll make like a bunch of money. How, how much money did you make, let's say, per se, uh, per month? I'm just curious. I, I, okay, here's the thing. Yeah. I always wanted to sell drugs and I never got to do it. You never got to sell drugs? I never got to sell oh, drugs. I thought you would sell drugs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, David definitely sold drugs. No, I've, I feel like everybody. I've, o I've like only. Like Asians like, that look like you and talk like you. I'm like, these people sell drugs too. <laughs> no, I, I, okay, first of all, I don't even know what that means, but it sounds offensive. I've never sold drugs. I didn't really do drugs. I only drank alcohol. Because I remember you saying you came from SAC and then not like well, everybody. Area. I didn't because here's yeah. the thing. I'm also very stubborn. If I don't want to do something, I don't want to do something. Yeah. I just never cared for it. Okay. I only started smoking weed uh, in the last few years because uh, okay. it helps me sleep. So yeah. It has to be for a medicinal purpose. Like mm. in, it, not because of a moral thing. I just don't like just not feeling in control. Yeah. I need to be, my life is already chaos. Yeah. If we're having yes. a conversation, I'm smoking. I guarantee you, I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> a hundred, dude, my friend was opening up his heart to me once about his divorce for like an hour straight, right? And the whole hour I was sitting like, pay attention. Look like you're paying attention. Look like you're paying attention. <laughs> He, ha he cannot know that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Oh my this God. He's crying. He's opening up his heart. Oh my God. And I just reach out my hand. I put it on his shoulder. I was like, put your hand on his shoulder so he thinks you care. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know that this is the conversation I'm having. Yeah. And then afterwards, yeah, like two hours later, I snapped out of it. I'm like, dude, I don't know what he said at all. <laughs> all he said was, dude, thanks for listening. And I'm like, I wasn't. But you know what? You were there and that's what's important. <laughs> exactly. You were there. That's the most important thing. And that three hours felt like two minutes. <laughs> Pay attention, pay attention. Don't let him know. Blink, blink. <laughs> That's the whole, and I hated it. Take, take a breath. Blink. <laughs> take a, <laughs> Why is David doing that? Why is he saying it out loud? Take a breath. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not even saying it in my mind. <laughs> How much money did you make per month on average? Um, honestly, I never counted, but I remember in like the four month period this one summer, because we also like, I, I don't, Carrie said it, but, but we also like did stuff. Like we went into other people's houses and stuff. You did house raids? Yeah, it was a good time. <laughs> you were <a> hell. <laughs> but I, I was, I was, but I was really young and I was trying to have a good time. <laughs> and I wanted money. You are such a piece of shit. I right? know. But the thing is. Um, what is with fucking druggies and raiding homes? Like you're not. Oh, by the way, I'm just saying I'm not really judging you because yeah. literally this is like half my. But friends. I'm I'm really not like that though. How much money did you make in those four months? Um, at the very very least, twenty eight thousand. At the lot. very least, I didn't want to go any lower, but at the very least, That's yeah, a lot. yeah, it's a lot in like four. But we did it for a while, for like maybe eight months or whatever. When did, when did you? Why why did you stop? You just felt bad. No. <laughs> Dude, I want to do it forever. Are you joking? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Who wants to stop? That's why you're afraid. There's no one that I, I was trying to make this story really nice and rounded. I was like, did you stop because you became a better person? You're like, Fuck no, dude. No, she was not a at the party. time. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, you know what I saw recently? That that was one of them that me and my friends watched, the Gangnam style one, the parody. Oh, I yeah, remember yeah, yeah, when yeah. it came out, I was in I was in college and I was like, man, that shit was hilarious. I, I thought of that shit when I was drunk at a Korean so barbecue crazy. and yeah. we wrote it that night and we shot it the next day. What? Yeah, so we didn't sleep. Dude, we that's very efficient that you guys did that. It was me, Holy my buddy shit. Dan, and my buddy Ed, and we were at a Korean barbecue, drunk as fuck, just off of soju and beer. 
and I was like, dude, let's make a fucking parody of this shit. Dude. It's so good. I was like, I look exactly like him. It'll be fucking hilarious. It's so good. I called up everybody. I was like, hey, you guys want to be a part of this video? My buddy just got this new camera. Got together, did it the next day. Damn. Yep. The location and everything and the movements. It that I feel like it would take a little bit, but you did it in one day. That's it was literally crazy. one fucking day. That's crazy. It was man. that fast. Wow. That's how I used to roll, dude. That's when I was motivated before tomatoes. Wow. <laughs> when I was motivated back in the day, if I wanted yeah. to get something done, I got it fucking done. It didn't, it didn't matter what it was. Wow. I would call people up, see if people wanted to work and do Bro, this type of shit. Some shit like that now, I feel like it will take a while. Like people have to call, like be like, hey, you know what I mean? Get the, that's crazy that you Everybody that has now evolved in their careers mm. so now we're not as free so before it was like who knows where this is gonna go no but i mean people coming up now like doing youtube and mm -hmm. stuff i feel like if they would do something like that it would be you have to plan it yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. get the guys get the camera things like is this person available is that that's what i'm available? saying like doing your where? special shit is not is fucking cake work dude like i did a whole production like that in a day yeah like you think fucking recording somebody standing on stage that's talking crazy, stupid shit brother. is hard for me that's, that's just... crazy because i literally I, i'm trying to plan it right now and it's a lot like i did fucking two calls already like a zoom thing wait call for but what like, what do you need to call for just to go over things i don't fucking know david i don't know the things and then they're like hey we should do a call and then they set up a whole google thing bro and we talked for a little bit but who's who are you calling my friend is helping me, so he's setting it up with this production team that he knows. And um, we're just talking about the sound, the venue, the light, the lighting, and uh, all that stuff. Yeah, that, that's all. I'm just saying that it's hard to do that is what I'm saying. Yeah. I like how they make it sound like it's so difficult. Maybe it's just me. Like, I just, um, <clears throat> it's not that hard. Yeah. It's really not that hard. Yeah. It's, it's really not hard at all. Yeah. When are you going to reshoot it? Um, well, that's the thing. Yeah, I've already talked to uh, June something it's in, in San Diego, but it's still in the talks. So I haven't, you know, we haven't said any details about uh, payment or anything, but they did do a proposal and um, we're just talking about it now. But now I'm like wondering about this thing now. Well, look, if your buddy feels very confident that he could do it, I'm pretty sure he can. Yeah. If it comes out terrible... I'm going to be so pissed. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. be so fucking mad. Your buddy no, better have some type it. of background in this shit. <clears throat> yeah. But uh, a lot of I mean, when are you going to start doing stand-up, man? Okay, don't don't do it to the fans and stuff. But let, let, I want to ask you, because you've been doing a lot of food stuff. I know you probably got, but I, I'm curious about this. You're doing a lot of food stuff mm -hmm. and you went like hiking and stuff. I saw you went on a hike or something. This was like maybe two months ago, whatever the thing is. So what's what's going on? This is how good Jumbi is doing, by the way. <laughs> I just want to let you guys know. Then like a, a short fucking five months ago, he's like, yeah, start a business is hard. Five months later, he's doing tomatoes. <laughs> just want to let everybody know. This guy is, doing is probably great. just looking at my stories like, this fat fuck. <laughs> Over here, I just fucking had a child and shit. I should have kept selling drugs. I'm just fucking, God damn it, making jokes. The fuck am I doing? Let me tell you this. Yeah. I want to do stand up a little bit, right? Okay. But the fire is, it's, it's gone. It's, it's so gone. gone. I feel it. I don't know I why. I feel it, brother. I and feel I'm, it. I'll tell you this, and I don't mean to be, say this because I'm talking myself up. I'm a funny guy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, 100%. I, you know, I'm not I, amazing, but I can work there again and get to a point where I'm pretty yeah. damn good, you know? Yeah. But it's like, Stand up is such a grind. You, if you don't have the fire, you're not going to do it's, it. It's so hard. Yeah. Because you know, I'm like, I'm remembering how hard it was, right? Just like, yeah. just working on the set, just working on yourself 24 7, writing all the time. And then I just go back to tomatoes. I'm like, why? It's a great. I don't mind. <laughs> yeah. Like, I love oh, that. I love that for you, bro. I don't mind hosting because yeah. it doesn't require a lot of work yeah. and there's no pressure. Right. Right. But for me to try to work like 15 minute sets, right. this 30 minute sets, oh, this is my hour. That shit's going to take a lot you of time. You know what? Out. Honestly, I feel like if you actually do do it and then you actually see your fans and shit, I think you will really enjoy it because it's just so fun. There's no reason. There, 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 there's not a thing that with your ADHD thing and your background and what you do that you don't enjoy it. 
Yeah, it's 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 fun. It's just like even to host the thing or whatever the thing is, or just even to do ten minutes talking to the thing. I feel like you give yourself am, too much pressure. I am going to do this though, a hundred percent. It's going to happen this summer. Yeah, I am going to do a Genius Brain comedy show. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna just get a small little venue. But why though? What? Just because what? I want to do it. Okay. So like, I want you, Pat, a few other people there, and I'm just going to host it, yeah. and I want people to come through and laugh, just so I could do it. Yeah, and then who knows? It might spark something. I don't think so. I don't think you host it. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I don't think it will spark something when you host it, and if you don't have a fire. But I really think you'll enjoy it if you're just like. But who knows? But man. tomato is here. So tomato is here. Tomato is here. Jumbi's doing great. <laughs> Sam Foods is doing who great. Who knows, man? Who knows what'll happen, man? Like who knows? But let's just say, you know what? I don't like this pressure. So this guy. This wraps up this episode <laughs> of the Genius Spray Podcast, and my ass is sweating. You could find Jason. At Jason, Jason Chetty, Chetty everywhere, please spell it J A S O N C H E N Y. I do stand up comedy. Please come see me um, before people realize that is a scam. <laughs> you could go check out his special on his channel, but he might take it down and redo it. Yeah, it's probably. it's actually doing really decent on the views, though. It's not bad. I um, just wanted to make it look nice, but I want people to come out and see me. That's the most thing. That's why I want to take it down because it, it is garbage. I'm sorry. Okay. It is garbage, 100%. Thank you for the support, brother. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I got you. I was so pissed when that fucking came. I was like, yeah. this is not it. This yeah. is not it at all. This is terrible. I don't know what the fuck is happening. And I like how I said, like, you sounded like you recorded on your iPhone, and you did. So um, <laughs> very, even more disappointing. And I was a joke, and it just turned out to be true. <laughs> so make sure that you guys check out Jason everywhere. He'll be back on this podcast as per usual. Um, check out Genius Brain every Sundays at 12 p.m. Uh, stay tuned for that Genius Brain comedy show. It's going to happen this summer. I'm going to set it up. I'll be hosting all my fucking funny-ass comedy friends, and they'll be doing stand-up. Come ready to laugh. It's going to be dope. I put it out there so I can do it. This is also a sign of ADHD, of like saying that something's going to happen and it doesn't happen. <laughs> I, I don't ever do that, though. Yeah, I have ADHD. I, just, I have it too, but don't do that. Why do you do that? Uh, because Why do you say things and don't do it? Just don't say it then, you pussy. Okay, I just opened up to you about my problems <laughs> and you just fucking therapist me like your therapist did you. <laughs> my heart hurts. You are stupid. Jeez, Brain Every Sunday is at 12 p.m. We'll see y'all next time. Peace. Bye.